Hello, air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, welcome into your reading, your session, if you will, yes. If you are new, hello, my name is Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So, all right, air signs, it's finally time to do your reading. And it's so wild because I did everyone else's and then <clears throat> some life circumstances got in the way and so I had to take some time that, that I was dealing with some stuff there. So I had there was a delay in getting to your reading, but there's also been just I just and it's and it's and it's wild air signs because you are the only one that I haven't been able to like settle into the energy and get a message. And that may be the message in and of itself or that may be the general theme that you're going through right now that you're dealing with. There may be energies of like dragging your feet. Um, some of you are receiving this message in relation to some sort of romantic relationship in which either you are dragging your feet or you feel like the other person is dragging their feet. Um, there's definitely some indecisiveness going on here, but the indecisiveness I feel like is just a byproduct of a deeper sense of turmoil. Um, could also be some sort of misunderstanding, turmoil, turmoil caused by some sort of misunderstanding. I'm getting the perspective of somebody doesn't, like somebody here doesn't understand what they're looking at or doesn't understand what they're seeing. Take it as you will. Maybe this is <clears throat> something that is actually very new, very novel or something. Uh, mm, it may be something that you would consider brand new to you. Um... For some of you, you are bearing witness to something that you never thought you would see in your reality, or you're, you're watching somebody act in a way that you never thought you would, uh, for good or for bad, for better or for worse. But it's, it's, it's giving, what am I even looking at right now? <laughs> okay, for, some, for someone out here, that's like, maybe someone is, is cheating, um, but it doesn't really feel like cheating. Um, but there is some sort of like back, backstabbing or feelings of being betrayed. Maybe it's a situation in which like you were dating someone that's actually, this is something specific and I'm getting it's between two male friends. You, this guy, you were dating this girl and uh, you or you or your friend was dating this girl. They broke up and now that girl is with you or that girl is with your friend. That's pretty specific, uh, but that may apply to some here. What am I even looking at? That seems to be the, like the, the main phrase I want to say here. What am I even looking at right now? Okay, take it as it resonates, take it as it will. Now, uh, or take it as you will take it. Um, another thing to mention, Libra is really standing out and has been really standing out since I've been trying to connect with this energy. Um, so we will see what that means in a moment. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I am going to pick a card for, one card for each sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And then what you're, and I'm gonna channel more of a general energy for the, for the signs, maybe even get a little bit of sneak peek, a sneak peek or a preview as to what's coming through for you in your individual sign. And when it comes to the individual signs, again, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, check the description box and or the pinned comment in the comment section down below for the timestamp to your sign. Yes? Okay, for my air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I'm gonna shuffle this a few times. Now, this message is being channeled, recorded, and published in June of 2024. So you could see this as a message for June for you. You could see this as a six month check-in. This also could be a timeless reading. So maybe you're not even watching this in June. You're watching this in July or some month after onwards. Um, it still could apply to you, okay? Or it still could resonate. Um, also, this is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yes, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or North Node, or any other placement. Um, 
for all of the signs, well, for everybody so far, I've kind of been relating to it. This reading could apply to any of your major planets again, or any of the outer planets, if you're looking at it from that perspective for you, if that's having some sort of effect on you in this moment. Um, also, you could look at it from, you could look at it as, as your third house, or your seventh house, or your 11th houses, uh, or your 11th house could be um, aspected at this time, affected at this time, those three houses specifically because Gemini rules the third house, Libra rules the seventh house, and Aquarius rules the 11th house. Um, it could also be that you have planets that are aspecting each other or transiting your certain planets in a certain, either one of these signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? I know that's really broad, but take it as it resonates. 555 on the counter. Just... But it, it can be seen from any of those different perspectives, all right? Okay, here we go, guys. <laughs> Last couple. All right, so what have we got going on for my air signs here for Gemini? We have judgment. Okay. Uh, with that, immediately I'm hearing the good, the bad, the ugly. Okay, but it's judgment. And Gemini, you actually may be maturing a bit. Um, uh, I'm hearing a keener, finer sense of judgment. What's going on for Libra? Ooh, okay. Libra has shadow. Ooh. Now, remember, I was saying, Libra, you were standing out a lot when I was working on channeling the energies for this. Um, so, Okay. We'll get into that. Not right now. Aquarius, please. Oh, Aquarius, you have make a wish. Oh, it's time for you to start dreaming, huh, Aquarius? You know what's interesting? You're associated with the star card in um, the Tarot, in the Major Arcana. And the star card is all about making a wish wishing upon a star or a star representing a wish, a dream that you have that you wish to, that you desire to reach, you desire to achieve. <laughs> okay, with this specifically, uh, maybe that's just my, the, the indoctrinated side of my mind, um, but I, with that, I'm hearing make a wish foundation. Uh, uh, but um, Aquarius, it could absolutely have something to do with that actual foundation. Maybe somebody's getting a job there. Maybe somebody's donating to it. You're considering considering donating to it. Um, but then also Aquarius, I really get this feeling that it's about you making a wish of your own, allowing yourself to start wishing or dreaming again. Ooh. Okay, so check the timestamps, yes? in the description box or the pinned comment below. And I will see you at your reading. <laughs> well, hello there, Gemini. Okay, so you've got judgment here. <clears throat> um, and you also, I'm sure you can see on the table, you have the Empress. Uh, I was just shuffling, pulling, gathering some of your energy and this is what came out. So here we have the Empress. Judgment. And I, I really truly feel like, Gemini, this is an actual judgment call of some sort. Um, but it may be on the level of maybe, say, your morals, um, the ways that you treat yourself, ways that you treat others, ways that you go about business, I'm hearing. Uh, and this is all uh, coming through with the Empress as well. Um, and it has definitely has something to do with abundance. Um, you may be, it may be something as simple as letting go of some sort of lack mentality or closed mindedness or lack of ability or maybe even willingness um, to open your mind, which is weird. I'm saying this to an air sign, but this may be something, you may be a generally an open minded person, but this may be something very specific to you. Um, and your mindset, your way of thinking, I'm hearing. Um, and by now, also, there, it, there may have actually been a lack of ability to open your mind in this way or to 
make some sort of new judgment call, whether it is um, a revamped uh, 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 um, previous judgment. Oh goodness, sorry, my cat. I put him outside so he could play outside while I was working, but of course now he wants to come in. Oh, this kitten. And he's climbing up the screen. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I know I am. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> I tried to go let him in, and he just ran back away. Ran away from me. Ran. And I'm, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not playing this game with you right now. <laughs> You're just going to have to stay outside. And then I was like, well, maybe I can leave the door open. No, I'm not leaving the door open for all the flies and mosquitoes to get in. Absolutely not. So his ass is just going to have to stay out there. Anyway, and it's raining now. Ha, ah, serves him right. Anyway. <laughs> um, now, the thing about this, Gemini, is that, and, and why the, the Empress is so important here, is because however you, you however, whatever judgment call you're making, or what I really want to say, whatever change you're making, and it does feel like a mental change. It's going to bring you or lead you towards greater abundance because it's going to open you up to receive, to be able to receive a greater level of abundance than you have previously been able to receive under the previous mindset, okay? Yeah, I'm going to leave the Empress there for you. So show me, Gemini, please. Okay, we do have the Five of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Um, Sagittarius energy. This Knight of Wands could actually represent a Sagittarius coming into your life, Gemini. Or maybe you are a Sagittarius cross-watching for a Gemini. But I do get this almost Knight in Shining Armor energy, but not really. That would be more maybe King of Cups or King of Swords. I'm sorry, uh, Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. Um... There is a bit of a crusade type of energy. And Gemini, you, it, 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 it may be tied to Sagittarius in terms of the energies of greater wisdom, greater knowledge, and wanting to teach that, wanting to spread that knowledge. Uh, I'm, so Gemini, some of you may have someone coming into your life like this, or maybe actually it's you who are deciding to take on some sort of crusade, as it were, as it were or as it could be said with this Knight of Wands energy here. That's where I'm getting the crusade. It feels like you're driven towards something, activating something, I'm hearing. And it, and it, and it has to do with this Five of Cups here because it's like you're trying to bring light, wisdom, understanding, awareness to this Five of Cups energy or people that may be in this Five of Cups energy. Okay. Um... So the judgment here could actually be somebody deciding, making the judgment call in a career choice or a career move. There you are, Gemini, showing up with the five, with the lovers here. Also still with the five of cups. I'm getting you're showing up for them, Gemini. Much like the angel is showing up for these two down here, it's like you're that angel to someone. Five of Cups, that's in this Five of Cups energy. You're someone's angel, Gemini. Or Gemini, you have someone that you consider to be your angel. Four of Wands. This could be a spouse, a family member, someone you consider to be family. Show me, Gemini. Queen of Swords now. You may be bringing some hard truths, hard lessons. Um, tough love. Uh, a no bullshit approach. Because the Queen of Swords did show herself here. Still with that Five of Cups. Which is still at the bottom of the deck. Okay. This Five of Cups energy is pivotal, is strong. This is, you may have, you may be an individual that's going through some sort of transformation that could look or feel like um, seeing enough trauma in the world 
there may be some sort of specific recent sighting or event or experience that you had that really tipped the scales here but it's like seeing so much trauma we'll say and feeling knight of wands that crusade to help these people fight that or combat that five of cups energy that sorrow that fear the grief the loss not seeing the forest for the trees not uh, recognizing that all is not lost you're just going through a temporary grieving process and i do feel like the rain right now is quite fitting because this does it's very emotional it feels very emotional but for the most part gemini either you are this crusader or you're about to have 555 on the counter you're about to have somebody come into your life who wishes to help you through this to get out of this hole get out of this rut and for others of you that are feeling like you are this crusader you are it's like you're going into some sort of social work energy work healing practices healing modalities it's definitely healing even if you're just sharing philosophies or you're being very philosophical or you're diving into the philosophies and all that that's still Sagittarian energy and that is still healing because it will help people understand the nature of reality and start to recreate their view of reality to help them completely transform their lives. You see, that that's definitely healing. Show me Gemini here, please. Mm. Ten of Pentacles. Longevity. Family. Career. Career path. Tenth house energy is interesting because Capricorn is coming through really came through for Aquarius but now but then I was just sitting here and that came up again but I didn't mention it because I do remember saying to myself I need to remember that Capricorn came up for Aquarius so just because it came up again for you it didn't I didn't automatically take it but now that this ten of pentacles is coming through and this may be something that is going on in your tenth house that's ruled by Capricorn okay so there may be some sort of Capricorn influence for you, Gemini. Maybe a, an individual that you are dealing with is a Capricorn. Um, someone close to you, someone very imp important or very influential in this situation for you is a Capricorn or has a Capricorn placement. This could be a 10th house. Definitely could be a 10th house career move type of situation. Whether it is you are making moves in your current career that is surrounding these, this, what, what it is we're talking about here you're making moves in your current career to reach certain goals um, you may have recently adjusted your goals revamped your goals and you are reaching a point where you are able to make a major achievement in this new goal um, in these new goals or these new what is the word that I'm looking for your plan your new plan, your revamped strategy, your your revamped destination, even right. I, I'm 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 getting a much bigger and bolder type of energy, and that could very well be uh, connected to this Empress energy here because the Empress is infinite, right? So it, she could just keep going, keep growing, keep keep bringing abundance in, and. I feel like also part of this judgment here is mental, is philosophical, maybe even emotional, because you are somehow making some shift, Gemini, that allows you mentally to subsequently and ultimately be more receptive towards abundance because in the past the way that you were thinking or what it is you are now making a new judgment call on when you accepted whatever this was in the past it limited your ability to receive abundance or to receive abundantly or it restricted your access to abundance or restricted your relationship to abundance is really how i want to say that one it restricted your relationship to abundance 
but now you're expanding, you're growing ever more. And this may be leading some individuals to be making career choices or decisions or moves. It, you could very well be changing and entering into a brand new career for yourself, making a major career shift for yourself. Okay, that's beautiful. That could be possible here. Um, but now that you're making that shift, you are starting, to, some of us or some of you are being influenced to make this career move or to step into more of a creative mode or really try and build your business because you are feeling more abundant. Because you have lost this restricted access to greater forms of abundance. So now you're inspired to move forward with your ideas, move forward with your plans, or move forward with this revamped idea that you have, or move forward into this new career path. This is what this judgment call is surrounding for you, Gemini, okay? And there's definitely an energy of maturing here, for sure, for sure. Oh goodness, look at this, Ace of Cups. Love is at the center of this judgment call that it needs to be known here and that needs to be congratulated, Gemini. Oh, and the sun shut up. Yo, this is good, Gemini. Whatever this is for you, whatever. <sighs> Honey, whatever this judgment call is for you, just make sure that it stays rooted in this love here because this right here, this with the ace, the ace of cups with the ten of pentacles and the king and the sun, I'm like. This is a once in a lifetime thing. This is solid. This is like golden. This is some sort of golden opportunity. It's a gold mine I was hearing specifically for some of you. It's some sort of gold mine, okay? That I mean, blessings upon blessings. Yes, okay, to the page of wands now. So you really are transforming somehow, Gemini. And I'm hearing in new philosophical ways that are going to increase your abundance millions fold. It really is in all, all in how you perceive of things um, mentally and how you respond to them emotionally. You're going to have a emotional, an emotional response regardless. To whether you accept it, whether you realize it or not, whether you want to or not, you're a human, okay? And one of the main draws toward being human is our ability to feel emotion. The, the spectrum of emotion we can go through and how we can just go through it like that, right? That's uniquely human. So... I'm sure you could put two and two together at this point. Since you are human, there's no way, at this moment, there's no way for you to escape emotion or emotional response, okay? So what you are doing here, or maybe what you're challenged to do here is to really master your emotions so that you can make sure that your responses emotionally are not, if not ideal all the time, as, as ideal as possible, you know what I mean? Like, let's be reasonable here. We're still fucking human, okay? We make mistakes. We're supposed to make mistakes. Okay, that's fine. So we don't need to be so rigid and be like, no, it has to be pristine and perfect 100% of the time. That's bullshit and that is, not, that is not even, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not practical. It's not sustainable, okay? <laughs> let's just be real. But you can make sure that you're working to do the best that you can at all times, right? Even if that means taking a break sometimes, okay. But you get what I'm saying here. Just, this is really, really good, Gemini. This is really, 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 really good. Just make sure that you maintain a, a core of love and however it is you move forward. Look, guaranteed. And I know, and. I, I know I'm if you if you know me you know I'm not one to like make guarantees like that but for some reason I felt very strongly to say guaranteed as long as you for whomever this message is for and you will know it because you could feel it at this point because I feel it right I have a feel physical sensation in my heart it's wonderful it's a beautiful little fluttering sensation so I'm vibing with somebody here okay as long as you stay rooted in this love you have nothing to worry about all right, Gemini? So, 
make your judgment calls and let your self be transformed. Damn. Allow yourself to be transformed. Page of Wands to death. And then there's that Knight in Shining Armor, Knight of Swords. <laughs> I feel like this is re relevant because it's this Knight of Swords energy that seems like it's, it feels like it's cutting things away. It's cutting away the debris. It's fighting off the enemies, the, the def defense mechanism, however you want to say it, in order to leave the air open and clear. Oh my God, the Eight of Wands to the world. Yeah. To open, leave things open, clean and clear or clearer or more open than they have been in the past and to close out that I'm hearing negative toxic cycle, that um, cycle of lack of abundance, really. Okay? Allow yourself to be transformed. All right? And just allow yourself to grow into it. Nurture yourself, okay? This is probably going to be a really tough time. Or not tough, but like challenging because 555 five, five on the counter again. Because you are like a snake or a lizard shedding its previous skin, molting. You know, I, I know many of you don't, may not like that image, but that's what I'm getting. Okay, you're a butterfly coming out of the fucking cocoon. Like, come on. <laughs> Can we be adults here, please? Thanks. Mm. But honestly, the snake is a much more, po much more powerful symbol in this, if, in this instance for, and that's why it came through specifically as a snake or maybe a lizard, but they're reptile, they're, well, they're, snake is not a reptile, I don't think, right? Anyway, um, it's specifically the snake symbolism because there's such raw power in that, kundalini energy, okay? So that's why that image was actually pretty specific and spot on, okay. All right, Gemini, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this, if you got something good out of it, please go ahead and tap that like button for me. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Yes, I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again. And a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yes? It's okay, bye. Mwah. <laughs> bye. Well, hello there, Libra. How you doing, boo? Okay, um, Libra, you got shadow, and you also have the lovers here. Um, so, first of all, I want to say this is taking me back to when I was working on my, I have a love-specific channel that I don't, I have not updated or posted on in a long time, probably over a year now. Uh, more, uh, more, maybe. Um, but Libra was very popular on that channel. And immediately when I saw Shadow for Libra, I felt like this could be love situated. Now, I, I don't really read, do love readings um, unless I'm guided to or unless that's the message that's coming through. But like, I don't sit down and say, okay, I'm going to do a love reading now. Like, that's not, that's not a thing for me. I just read. Whatever message comes through, comes through, okay? For you, Libra, for some of you, this is love. I feel like it's predominantly love. Um, so if, you're, if you are a Libra and you don't have a love situation going on right now, don't, uh, this might not be your message. But at the same time, actually, You actually don't have to have, be in a relationship with someone right now for this, act, for this to apply in terms of love for you, Libra. Because I'm also getting, with this shadow energy, I'm getting skeletons in the closet type of energy. The shadow of past or previous lovers. The shadows of said, I'm seeing a closet. This, uh, that's, this is a very sensitive topic, so I'm just going to throw it out here. This might be someone coming out of the closet, reconciling that energy about something. They could be entering into the LGBT or stepping into the LGBTQ plus club, or this could be someone coming out about something that they enjoy that may be taboo for whatever reason or within whatever group you are operating in it within or for whatever group uh, 
or associations you may have that would that this would be relevant to uh, okay so this definitely could be a seventh house thing Libra you do rule the seventh house so that makes sense but you also maybe you're in Aries rising and you have Libra in the seventh house or your seventh house is being activated in terms of this situation I'm getting Scorpio energy which makes sense because you do go from Libra to Scorpio, you do go from the seventh to the eighth house. The seventh house is um, how you uh, is your your relationships, friendships, romance. Um, eighth house is the occult, deep dark secrets, the subconscious, fear, exposure, transformation. You might be a 7th, 8th house cusper. There may be something going on. Something may be transiting back and forth between this, your 7th and 8th houses right now or when this message is relevant for you. Because I'm getting, I, I'm, I'm getting an energy of exposure here. And I feel like that's related to the 8th house somehow. Which again is, uh, is, is plausible. Lyle, you have to wait my cat he decided he wanted to go outside so i let him outside while i'm while i'm doing this but then as soon as i sat down to start recording recording he wanted to come back in so i stopped went to go let him back let him back in and he just ran away from me just bound leaped and just bounded his way back into the into the bushes i'm like you and now it's raining no he's his, his ass is outside until hey now he's out there destroying my screen. I'm sorry, Libra. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. This is a little funny little... Oh, Jesus. This is a funny little thing. But you might have... Yeah, see? You might have some sort of lover. Let me try and let him back in so he doesn't destroy my screen anymore. But you may have some sort of lover, Libra that is trying to come back in, an ex-lover, the shadows of previous lovers. There may be some others showing up all of a sudden in your life, um, wanting another chance, wanting a second chance or a third chance, whatever. How, how, apply any multiples, whatever multiples you have to that. Um, but it's mainly because you're about to glow up. Mm, mm, mm. He came in this time. He's wet now. Yeah, I'm sure he wants to be inside now. Okay. Libra. <laughs> uh, you could be dealing with a Gemini also. Okay, dragging their feet. So, since this is feeling so love heavy, I guess this is the message for you, Libra. For some of you, you have a relationship in which either you are dragging your feet or someone else is dragging their feet. And that could be this shadow aspect here. Now, it could be for you or for whomever it is, someone here feels like they're dragging their feet because of the shadows of previous relationships. You may have thoughts, memories um, that are coming back to the surface, maybe that you never dealt with. Or that could be the basis of some sort of fear of re-entering into another relationship. And so that is why you are dragging your feet. You're either dragging your feet because you have been talking to someone or you're dragging your feet in terms of working with the universe to get you what it is you want. And for some of you, Libra, it is the stereotypical indecisiveness that is your problem right now, Libra, because you can't decide what it is you want. The Lovers is about a choice as well. You could, again, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Libra, you may have some sort of counselor, whether it be a romance counselor, a, a therapist, a couple's counselor or a friend, a person, maybe it's someone new that comes into your life, swoops into your life with some sort of new philosophy that helps you either change your mind or make a decision. And they may be a Gemini. That's for some of you. 
you might want to watch the general you might want to watch the Gemini reading that may that may help you here all right show me Libra please Yeesh. I open straight up to the two of cups yeah oh and the dragging your feet energy came from this knight of pentacles and um, when I mentioned it in the beginning of the reading, when I was just doing the general energies for all the air signs, I did see when I mentioned, when I was saying the dragging the feet energy, I did see the Knight of Pentacles in my head. And so that's why when I saw it at the bottom of the deck, I was like, oh yeah, there it is. That's for Libra. Okay. Two of Cups, some sort of relationship, interpersonal relationship, could be love. I mean, it most likely is love at this point. We have the Two of Cups and the lovers showing up. Okay. But take it as it resonates. Yeah. Libra. Oh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever placement, like I said, could be the seventh house, could be whatever house that you have Libra in is being activated here. Show me Libra, please. 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 All right, Libra. Show me Libra. The chariot. Mm-hmm. Life-changing experience, Libra. You've got, ooh, and this, I, I mean, I'm going to say this because it's what's coming through. I don't mean to put any more pressure on you on, on top of what you may already be feeling, but this is a big-ass decision, Libra. It could change the course of your life completely. But with this Libra, what is so important is for you to take responsibility. That's how you really step into the driver's seat of the chariot here. You're taking responsibility for where your ship, your vehicle is going, where your life is going. You are stepping into the driver's seat in many cases. And for some of you, this indecisiveness is like whether or not you should let somebody go. Because if you step into the driver's seat like this, nine of wands, yeah, okay. Nine of Wands, I don't, uh, battered and bruised, but still holding on. Um, in order for you to really step into this driver's seat, Libra, you're going to have to tell someone to fuck off. Maybe even multiple people. Uh, I mean, you don't, obviously, you don't have to use those exact words or that exact phrase, but I know some of you are, fel are saying, hell yeah, fuck all the way off, actually. <laughs> but, okay, but... It's still, it still is going to have, you're still going to have to put up some sort of boundary between you and someone else because maybe they're trying to drive for you or they want ultimate control or they're just very controlling or they derail you somehow. They're a distraction. Take it as you will. But, I, but needless to say, at this point, they just can't be around you or in your life if you're going to be in the driver's seat. It's just not going to fly for whatever reason. So your indecisiveness here or your decision is all in terms of, for somebody or for some of you, is all in terms of cutting someone the fuck off. But you see, that's there right there. Therein lies the problem. Nine of Wands is at the bottom of the deck here. And therein is the shadow, Libra. Okay, show me Libra, please. What's going on for Libra? The tower. Ooh, honey. Yikes. Don't shoot the messenger, please. Ooh. Yikes. Okay, Libra. Oh. Well, shit. <laughs> Look at that. The Ace of Wands, huh? Mm, this is getting better already. I like this. I do. I do like this because... Because... Not only are your chances of making a decision greater when the, with the Ace of Wands showing up, it's still not a guarantee. If you get the Ace of Swords, okay, that's a little more of a guarantee for me. But the Ace of Wands is not necessarily a guarantee. What it is a guarantee of is the inspiration to try and make a decision. So what this is coming through as is for you, Libra, is... Um, you starting to feel passionately about something or your passion starting to build, you starting to feel that first spark. It's like what I'm feeling here is like it's that moment where you switch in a relationship from really still wanting to be with the person, really still being very emotionally invested, caring very much, very, very, a whole lot, really wanting to work on it and fix things and make it better. It's the switch from that phase to all of a sudden not giving a fuck anymore. It's that type of switch. 
and then that energy and and you and some people are relieved to feel this way others are mortified and terrified because they know once that feeling starts it doesn't stop it tends to keep growing well let me, let me not say that as an absolute because you can stop it but one, but it's kind of it's a feeling where and maybe this is just specific to this situation because there's a feeling here of once you cross that line into I no longer give a fuck your chances of, of being able to cross back over are slim to none <laughs> okay so maybe that's what this tower moment is is the moment that you start to feel differently. You start to feel inspired in a different way about something. And it absolutely is your choice, 100%, Libra. Show me Libra, please. 444 four, four on the counter. Show me Libra. The Six of Pentacles. And with that, and then you have the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. With this Six of Pentacles, Libra, I get that it's a very cut and dry situation. It is, because didn't the Queen of Swords show herself as I was shuffling for you? No, I'm sorry, that was Gemini. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so here's that Gemini connection again. And maybe you have a Gemini placement, okay? Um, but I also feel like for somebody here, this person, this counselor, this Queen of Swords, because the Queen of Swords showed up and I was getting a very counseling, a very healing energy for Gemini. And I also felt like Gemini could be that person that's giving the counsel, giving advice. And the Queen of Swords, show, Swords showed up facing or in relation to someone being in a Five of Cups energy, a woe is me, a pity party, okay, that, all right. Um, but feeling grief, um, having, facing losing something, you know, like, but, but kind of getting wrapped up in the energy of like, not recognizing that all is not lost. And this Queen of Swords, potentially a Gemini here, or whomever this counselor type of energy who may come into your life, Libra, may communicate it to you point blank. Like there are no, there's no room for argument. You can sit there and rebut all you want, rebuttal all you want, but you're just wasting my time, your time, and a whole lot of energy on your part and oxygen really, because it doesn't fucking matter. There is no debate. The problem here is that the situation is not reciprocal. Facts, straight facts, okay? That is what I'm getting from the Six of Pentacles here. It is a straight fact, <laughs> Libra, that whatever it is you are facing letting go of, whatever shadow you're facing, the straight fact here is that it is not reciprocal and it is incapable of being reciprocal, Libra. I heard that specifically, <laughs> okay? Page of Swords. So, the Page of Swords here is like the, is the universe is saying to you now, okay, so what are you gonna do? Page of Swords. So what's your, what's your decision? Ooh. That one stung, man. Okay. I hope this was helpful for you, though. Please understand that I don't mean any harm. <laughs> I really don't mean any harm. I'm not trying to upset anybody, but that one, I felt that one. That one was powerful. And I really want you, I know you couldn't see it for most of the reading here, but this lover's energy, I, this is coming through so strongly from your spirit team, Libra, but it is time for you to stand up for yourself and to make a decision that's right for you. This is your choice. Nobody else's. And maybe that's what's so hard about it for you because no one else can really decide for you. You have to be the person that makes this decision. I'm hearing it's touch and go. This may be even be, this may even be a decision on the end of life circumstances for a loved one. I don't know why that just came through, but Please don't get me wrong. I feel the gravity, the weight of this. I'm with you, Libra. But you can do it. You absolutely can do it. Okay? There is no doubt about that. You just need to allow yourself. Go with where you are feeling inspired, Ace of Wands, where this inspiration is, is 
welling up inside of you. Okay. All right, Libra. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you so much. Sending you so much love. If you enjoyed this, if you got something of value out of it, I invite you to please tap that like button for me and to consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. But with that said, I love you so very much yet again, and I hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Cool. Bye. <laughs> Hello, Aquarius. Okay, so I just want to say, of all of the air signs, you are the most palpable to me. Like, I can feel you guys the most, and I know for a fact that I'm in air Aquarius energy right now because shit just got weird. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so awesome and entertaining, and I loved it. Um, which is important to this message because I feel as soon as I, I stepped into your energy, I felt like somebody here is very, very sad. And I want to give you a hug. The biggest hug ever. Somebody here is at the depths of despair. Someone, I feel like somebody have, may have hit rock bottom. This might be someone dealing with some sort of substance abuse or addiction. This could be financial. This could just be, I just, this is like you've, re this is the lowest point you've been in your life. And you're being asked and guided even to make a wish. Because there really is only one way up. There is only one way from here and that is up. Right? Somebody here has reached rock bottom and you're in a period of temperance. You have make a wish and you have temperance. All right? And at the bottom of the deck, you have the magician. You can do this, Aquarius. You can pick yourself back up. You can build yourself back up, okay? Um, somebody here, you might have an Aquarius placement. Yes, this might, be your, this might be an 11th house issue for you. This could also be whatever house you have Aquarius in. These are all things that could be activated from an astrological point of view. There is some sort of strong cleansing energy going on for the air signs uh, at this time or throughout this message. Um, it's been raining this whole time that I've been doing this reading and I'm hearing thunder in the distance now. Aquarius, you may have gone through a storm recently. You, uh, you may actually, shout out to everyone in the Midwest, Texas and all, and like, Illinois, Illinois, Louisiana, like uh, all those places, Kentucky, I, I think these are all states that are coming to mind, but that recently went through devastating uh, uh, tornadoes, okay? You could have lived in one of those spaces. You could be um, connected to someone that is living in one of those spaces or was. Um, this could have been just an emotional storm, a life storm. This could have changed your way of life significantly. It could be. That's why it could be changing your life, your way of life significantly. That's why you're in this temperance energy. This temperance energy feels like a rebuilding mode. But it also kind of feels like a, a restful period. <sighs> However restful it, it can actually be for you is questionable. Um, I feel that. But... It's also a time of like letting the dust settle somehow. I did just see 911, 4911. Someone may have gone through an emergency lately. It could be a health crisis. Uh, but you're secure for 911. There's security. You may have made you you may have had to make some sort of emergency call, whether figuratively or, or literally. Um, but whatever call you made, you are secure within it. You are gaining the help, the resources that you need, or you will be. 
You can rebuild from here also is a very important point. There is a rebuilding process underway, ongoing, undergoing. Okay. But still, you're being asked to make a wish. And really, this is quite important, Aquarius, because, like I said, you may be, you may have reached rock bottom, but there really is only way, one way from here. And that's up, right? Towards better, bigger, greater things. Better things, really, is what they're trying to say here. So make a wish. Wish for wish for something useful okay um i don't want to tell you how to use your wish but at least make it something better don't wish for the same thing don't wish for another chance with at the same thing don't wish for the same thing you had last time wish for something better this time because uh, you may you may get the tower you may be dealing with a tower moment you may have a leap replacement um because the Libra got the tower I am feeling a bit of a catastrophe type energy for you right now, uh, Aquarius. So you may be dealing with a tower moment right now. But also think about it this way. After the tower comes the star, which is you, Aquarius, but also the star that you wish upon. Make a wish. Okay. Show me Aquarius, please. Show me Aquarius, please. The magician still wants to show itself. And I just, I see someone, a woman, but I see someone crying right now. And as I'm seeing that, I'm being drawn to this, the magician, you can handle this. You can work this out. You can make it through this. You can come out on top. You have risen above before. You can do it again. I know you may not want to, but that's not in question here, whether you want to or not. I, sorry to be so blunt, but it's what the universe is saying. It's what the universe is saying right now, King of Swords. And it's interesting that it's the King of Swords. Well, actually, this is you, Aquarius. Could be any other air sign too. But it is kind of interesting that it's the King of Swords and not the Queen of Swords, because what I'm feeling right now is, oh, well, okay, just the facts. And the King of Swords is just the facts. Give me the facts, okay? And let's break it down this way. In terms of whether you want to or not, like, what is delaying or not taking action or not stepping into this manifestational power that you know you have, what's that actually going to cost you? versus actually getting up and doing it again because you have to well i mean you don't really have to you could not pull yourself up again and not respond in the way that you know you need to the know the way that you know that you can and maybe even in the way that you know that you want to i mean you could have a temper tantrum like that for some of you you could just refuse to participate in your life you could but what's that going to cost you in the end Okay. Show me Aquarius, please. Yeah. There's your choice. There's your answer right there. King of Swords, now with the Three of Pentacles. Self-mastery. Work on yourself. Rebuild. For some of you, the phrase, you have no other option, is coming through. Sorry. I thought, I was, I thought that was a mosquito. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. I'm not trying to intimidate anybody. There may be some form of intimidation that's going on here. Okay, all right. But see, here's the thing. You might have someone, maybe a father figure, some sort of masculine male figure barking at you, being like, you have no choice. You've got to rebuild. Well, you, you, can't just, you can't just live like that forever or blah, 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 or whatnot, whatever. Okay, that's fine. But actually, they may be right about that. But how you choose to rebuild is none of their fucking business. Mm. Good. So let's focus on rebuilding then. <laughs> All right. Show me Aquarius, please. 
Show me Aquarius. I just heard, show me the money. Oh, Aquarius, you could have some sort of Capricorn energy going on. This could be a 10th, 11th house transit that's happening. Um, you could have a Capricorn around you. This father figure could be a Capricorn. This male figure could be a Capricorn energy. You may have a, oh, this may have something to do with Saturn for you. Saturn is one of your original rulers. Of course, you're ruled by Uranus now, but... Mm. Mm. This could be a very Saturnian situation for you right now, but I feel breaking free in this. Okay, Aquarius. Show me Aquarius. Really? One card and one card only, Aquarius. Five, 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 five on the counter. It's the Three of Pentacles. Working on yourself, self-mastery, judgment. Judgment is at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius. It's time, it's time to go. It's time to let this go. It's time to rise above the ashes. Transform yourself, be reborn. The main message that I'm getting here, Aquarius, is that yes, you do need to do this. I, really, the only choice you have, Aquarius, is how you go about it. That's what spirit is stressing right now because it's quite obvious something's got to give, something's got to change, or you've got to rebuild something. You got to rebuild yourself, you got to rebuild your life. Maybe you're rebuilding your ego. I just heard that. But either way, you have to do it. Okay, that's not in question. But you get to decide. That is the really important part of this message, Aquarius. You, Spirit is drilling this home. You get to decide how you want to proceed, what changes you want to make, what alterations you want to have done. You, no one else. It's no one else's decision, Aquarius. Yours. Some of you have someone barking at you. I want to say a dog after you about this. It may be literal or physical in the form of a, another human being who is very self-righteous, who thinks they know everything, maybe is trying to boss you around, some sort of uh, authoritative figure, very Saturnian energy, or it could be mental, emotional, spiritual, it could be more internal. Although I would say even if it is external, there is something internal going on within you that has you resonating with this situation with this person. This could even be internal in terms of you reconciling some father issues that you have surrounding this. <clears throat> so you may have been an addict or got into some sort of behavior or uh, cycle, relationship, um, whatever, that was a coping mechanism in terms of some sort of father issue or authority, authority, uh, issue with authority that you may have developed over your lifetime. And that led you to some sort of rock bottom or reaching rock bottom experience. You could have rebelled in some pretty extreme ways that ultimately only led you to this rock bottom position. And the irony for some of you is that the very person that is barking at you about this is the very person who traumatized you in the way for you to make the choices and the decisions that you made to end up here. I am not saying they are completely to blame because ultimately you made your own decisions. Maybe you made these decisions as a young child and for that you get a bit of, you do, I mean you get somewhat of uh, lighten, uh, you know, lighten of a lighten of your heart there because you were a child. Okay, children are supposed to be learning how to live through example by their parents, and when child or at, at least parental figures, 
caregivers, authoritative figures, they're adults, they're surrounding adults. And when certain children are surrounded by nothing but terrible examples, there's only so much blame a child can take for making certain terrible decisions, right? It's only when you become an adult and you are at full capacity or, or supposed to be, or you should be, with no judgment there, but like you get what I'm saying. That's when full, like, that's when full responsibility is yours. Yes, so, so and so acted in certain a way, but whether you continue to engage with them in that way or engage with the situation that way is fully on you at this point. Why? Because you're an adult. Okay. But for some of you, the irony is, in fact, that the individual that is barking at you about needing to change your ways or change your life or build yourself back up, you can't just leave, you can't just stay there laying on the floor like that, so to speak, is the very individual that started this cycle, we'll say, with you. Maybe this cycle of addiction. Wow, that's heavy. But... Aquarius, Aquarius, listen to me, darling. How you rebuild yourself, the choice you make in, in terms of rebuilding yourself is yours and yours alone, Aquarius. So if that means cutting that POS barking dog out there out of your life, then so be it. If it serves your greater mental, emotional, and damn well, maybe even physical health. I damn sure hope they're not putting their hands on you. But if it serves the betterment of your health and well-being, get that motherfucker out of there. It's your choice in how you rebuild Aquarius. No one else's, okay? And you can do better for yourself this time. You just have to wish for it and follow that star until you reach it. You also have to allow yourself to wish for it and you also have to realize and hold firm, hold true to the sun is coming out. The sun has come out, excuse me. Um, hold firm to the fact that you are in fact worthy of this. I don't care what that motherfucker said to you how they treated you to make you feel less than worthy and, 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 and worthless and how I, I don't give a flying fuck, honey. You are more than worthy. You always have been. That's very important. Worthiness. Believe that you are worthy. Do it right now. Do it. Believe. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna leave it there, Aquarius. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If this was helpful for you, please, I, I, I ask that you please consider tapping that like button for me. And also consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. But with that said, I hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic month. I love you so very much. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Cool. Mwah! Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>